Losing files and data can be devastating, but oftentimes we can recover data that's been deleted, formatted, corrupted, and in many cases, encrypted by ransomware. Let's talk about it. I've covered data recovery solutions extensively on this channel, but what I haven't covered thus far is the number one selling brand, Stellar, who also sponsored this video. Now before you torch me in the comments, let me set the record straight. This is not going to be some puppet shill where I regurgitate a bunch of marketing slogans at the behest of the sponsor. No, this will be an impartial review as well as a tutorial on how to recover data using Stellar Data Recovery Professional Edition. Now let's go ahead and get started. First go ahead and click the link in description, it's going to take you right here to Stellar's website and then we're going to go ahead and download the free version right here. While that's downloading, I'll show you a little bit about how this works. Now data recovery is very sophisticated, but the short version of how it works is that, for example, on this 3.5 inch hard disk drive, if something's deleted in Windows by putting it in the recycle bin and then emptying the recycle bin, it's not gone, it's just moved from one part of the drive to another, scheduled for overwrite. In the case of a format, the partitions have been erased, but the data within those partitions is often still there. In the case of ransomware, it's often just deleted because get this, a lot of ransomware is sloppy. It will actually make a copy of your original files, encrypt those, and then erase the originals. You can recover those unencrypted originals with data recovery software. Now the download is complete, let's go ahead and install it. First you're going to have this come up and it's going to ask you to select a language. We're going to select English for myself, you can select whatever language is best for you, and then click OK. Then here we're going to go next, we're going to accept the license agreement next and then we're going to choose where we're going to install it for this case we're going to leave it in the default hello everyone today i will show you the best way to recover per no you are not taking my job now that it's done installing we can go ahead and leave this checked because we're going to launch stellar data recovery we're going to just hit finish and then it'll open the program and once Stellar Recovery opens, you're going to see this menu here. It's a very simple, clean menu that this is the part where you will decide what you're going to recover. For example, what types of files. If you're only going to do Office documents such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDFs and whatnot, then only select this. By default, it's selecting all data. But if you're only looking for specific types of files, I advise you to uncheck that and select just the types of files that you are looking for. For example, if you're missing a bunch of folders or Office documents, documents, photos, then select all that apply. But don't check anything that doesn't apply because you will get um, random data and it also will increase the time that it takes for it to recover data. For example, if you're recovering from a 12 terabyte hard disk drive and you tell it to recover everything, it might take two days. Where areas if you're just trying to find a particular folder that had files in it, it might be done in a matter of minutes. To test the ability of Stellar Data Recovery Professional, um, we're going to go ahead and prepare uh, my hard drive for data recovery. I'm going to go ahead and copy my camera roll over to my Western Digital Red Plus. I've created a folder called Lost Data and I'm going to paste that here. My camera roll has a bunch of my thumbnails I use for YouTube and we'll also put a video in here and which one we'll use, doesn't really matter. We'll copy this one and we'll bring it over there paste that there and then we'll also make a, a, an office document test document okay and then we'll save that there as well put that over here and in lost data test and we'll save it as a word document and then we will save it okay on the next screen we're going to select office documents photos and videos. We're also going to select folders because in this folder I do have a folder within a folder um, so I don't want to lose that. Okay so we have test document, video and camera roll so we're going to select all that apply here. We're not going to select anything else because we don't want to recover anything else because we know that it would just be raw data. So we'll hit next. Now here, here is where we select the location. If you're trying to recover ransomware data you might be wanting to choose location here and maybe choose um, your users, documents, and then maybe your desktop, um, your downloads, pictures. So you can select the manual folder right there. 
Um, you can also choose just documents. You can choose a specific drive and it'll try to recover the entire drive. If it's from a corrupted drive, like it could have been your D drive that that is no longer registered, um, or it could be your, your original C drive and you're booting from a flash drive. Um, if you can't find the drive, you would choose this one and it can recover a lost partition. So a lot of options, very powerful. We're gonna choose location, and then we're gonna go to Western Digital Red Plus, and then we're gonna select within lost data. Okay, but first we want to delete all that data. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to shift delete. You sure you wanna permanently delete these three items? Yes, I do. Do I want to permanently delete it? Yes. Okay, so everything's been deleted. It's not in the recycle bin. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure we have the right place. Let's get to red plus. There's nothing there. We're going to select that folder and then we're going to go to scan. Now it already said no data found in quick scan. So it's switching to a deep scan. And this may take a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a coffee and I'll come right back when it's done. All right, and the deep scan is complete. At this point, it's telling us what data it found during its scan. It hasn't actually recovered it yet. So using the trial version, you can totally do all this part to see if it's even gonna recover your data. Um, for example, we're not gonna be looking at here, we have raw data. Um, which is, has a whole bunch of stuff that might have been from uh, things that got deleted a long time ago. Um, but we are looking for the lost data folder. And in here we have the camera roll. We have all these thumbnails and looks like they're intact. We can see through the preview without purchasing the software yet. Um, also within here, there's our test document. Um, no, you are not <laughs> taking my job. Uh, that's that one. Uh, so we can actually preview and see if the files are functioning before the data recovery. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uncheck everything and we're just going to select the lost data folder and then we're going to hit recover. Now at this part, you can't recover data from the same drive and put it on the same drive that you're recovering data from. So we're going to have to select, I'm going to select my C drive and I'm going to make a new folder called recovered data. You can put it anywhere. You can put it on a flash drive if it's big enough. Uh, you can put it on your C drive on your desktop, wherever you like. In this case, I'm gonna put it in this folder I'm creating called uh, recovered data. And I'm gonna select that folder. Under advanced settings, you can also put it into a zip file for compression, um, some other options there. But in this case, we're just gonna recover it and we're gonna save it to C forward slash uh, recovered data. We're gonna start saving and it's moving all the files that it found during the scan that we selected, and it's moving it over to that folder. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go here to my C drive and to recover data, and into this folder, I found my lost data folder. And in here is the test document. It's functioning, it's intact. This video, no, it's working. Camera roll, all of my pictures are intact and recovered. So that, that worked. Now, while that test went off perfectly, there's a lot of competition in the data recovery market. And as far as why I think Stellar is above and beyond the rest is not only because they are Tech Radar's editor's choice, but they cover so many types of storage, whether they're hard drives, SSDs, SD cards, CDs, DVDs, even hidden partitions, but also the consistency and strength of the algorithm. And that is what allows it to scan and find all those different types of files, whether they're movie files, pictures, documents, I mean, even Outlook files, even files from crash systems. And also consistency is king. In all of my years of using data recovery software, the best results I've gotten was from Stellar, which I've been using a long time. They've been in the game for a long time. They've been on top for a while. And there are many reasons why they are the best. Now, if you were following along and you recovered less than one gigabyte of data, you might have noticed that you don't have to pay for anything. That's right. One gigabyte of free data recovery is included with the basic free version of Stellar. If you need to recover more than one gigabyte of data, you will need at least the one year license, which after $10 off, it's $89.99. And above that is the premium version, which is going to include repairing corrupted files that have been damaged somehow, which can happen. But if you don't, you're not worried about damaged files, you can go with just the basic professional. And above that is technician, which is only recommended for corporate commercial environments. If you're running an IT department or a PC repair shop, because they're going to cover RAID de devices and network drives, things like that. And that's a bit on the pro level. So if you're just a home user, you're most likely okay with the professional version.
and congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Huge shout out to Stellar for sponsoring this video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.